Welcome to Grandpa's Cabinets. My name is Ron and I'm Grandpa. I'm the person that builds all these display cases and display kits. Today I'd like to make this video to show you the how and the why of building a display kit. People ask me all the time for pricing on display cases and on my quote sheet it gives me the interior dimensions they want. When the interior dimensions I get make it possible to build a display case as a display case that's what I do, that's what I quote. A display case is like the one you see here. It's an all acrylic cover that sits on a solid wood base of their choosing, finished however they want. The particular size of this one would make it very feasible to be built as a display case and to be shipped as a display case because the cost and the overall size makes it possible. There are times though when a customer asks me for a display case that's so large that if I were to pack it and ship it as a display case as the one you just saw, either the size would be beyond or over the maximum size that UPS allows, which is 165 inches length and girth, or the cost would be so excessive that the customer said, well, obviously I'm not going to do that because it's just too expensive. When that happens, I offer the customer and I quote the customer on building a display case, or kit I should say. The one I'm showing you here is a display kit that I've done for a customer. It measures approximately 35 inches length on the inside, approximately 14 inches on the width on the inside, and a full 27 inches on the height. So I'm going to show you what's involved, what comes with it, and what makes this the best option. This particular one, I'm demonstrating the base here. This base is solid cherry and it's finished in dark walnut with a satin polyurethane top coat. As you can see, it's got a groove routed all the way around and that gives you the interior dimension that the customer wants. It's finished on both sides to make it a quality product, a furniture quality product. What also comes with this are the Corner pieces, which are also, again, cherry, finished to match what's there. The grooves in the cherry corner pieces allow the acrylic to sit inside of there, and when the top is placed on, as you're going to see, locks everything together and makes a nice, beautiful case. So let me go through, actually, how to assemble this particular item. Get this out of the way. The first thing you'll see is you're going to get two, a front and back acrylic panel, already pre-cut, already pre-fit. You set the panel into the groove and if you gently let go it will stay up by itself. The next thing I do is I, and you can do this at home by yourself, you only need your two hands to do this, is you set the side panels into the groove. Again, they will stand up by themselves. Both side panels, like so. And as you see here, the protective covering is still on here. That's so that when it's being shipped to you, it comes to you without scratches or dents or mars. After I've got the three panels on, the next thing I do is to put the corner pieces on these panels, slide it down, as you see here, I try to make the fit as tight as possible. Now when you've got a case like this and it's this large, there's something that you need to know. If you're by yourself and you're assembling this by yourself, when you do this, it's going to tend to want to open up. In order to keep it closed, I take a little bit of painter's tape and just set it across the corners just to keep it together while you're assembling it, like so. Doesn't take much, doesn't take much effort, it just keeps it together so that you can actually get the top on. And then when the last panel goes on, like that, and you get the last two corner pieces on, like so.
Now, in this case, it probably would stay together, but just for the sake of making the video, I'm going to put that on there to keep it together. Now, the last item that you get is the top. And the top, as you can see in this case, again, it's all solid, cherry, finished in the same color as the base and the corners. And on the bottom, you'll see that you have a groove that's already put in there. That groove matches the groove that's in the base. So now when you take this piece and you carefully place it on top, you just kind of find the grooves like that. It locks the thing together. You take your tape off. Your model is already in there. And as you can see, you've got a freestanding, pretty darn solid acrylic and, oh, and cherry display case. Now, this is not solidly assembled and glued and screwed or anything like that. And the reason I don't do that is because by having just a little bit of air space in here, it allows some air to get in there, but not enough to make it get dusty inside. I found, and my customers have told me that, when they put their model in a display kit like this, they don't have to go in and dust it ever that they've ever told me. But if they do want to have access to the model, all they do is lift the top off, remove the panels, you've got access to your model when you need it. This uh, option that I have developed and designed allows for me to be able to build fairly large display cases as the one you see here and get them to the customer at a fairly reasonable price because when this is all finished and packed, it measures if the interior dimension is 35 inches, it's the packaging, when it's packed, becomes about 42 inches in length. And um, the height, 27, it gets to about 34 inches. But the thickness of the package is only about 8 inches. And that makes a big difference in the shipping cost. So if I was to ship this as a display case, this size, first of all, number one, it would be too large when it's packed to be able to be sent as a display case. And number two, the cost would be astronomical. If this were going to someplace like Oregon, the cost to ship this as a case would be over $300. I just had one recently that I quoted that was that way. And um, I, I hope this gives you some insight as to how beautiful a display uh, this can be, how gorgeous it is, uh, furniture quality, a real highlight to your display. And I think I found that in the past 14 years that most times the display kit, the people that are building sailing ships and things like that, use the display kit because it gives them something uh, with the wood that accents the wood in their sailing ships and it gives them a, a much better look when it's de designed and when it's um, displayed. I hope this helps you and if you are interested in getting a display kit or a display case for your models or anything that you want to display, please go to my website www.grandpascabinets, all one word, dot com. And when you get there, you'll see a gallery with hundreds of pictures of things that I've built for other people and their models. You'll also see a page with blogs that talks a little bit about some of the special things I've done. And you'll see the main page, which is Request a Quote. When you're there, fill out the Request a Quote form. I will get you a price quickly, accurately, and I hope to be working for you soon. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and have a wonderful day. Take care.